Hey guys, thanks for taking the time to uh, check in and watch this video. Today is uh, December 1st and we are going to be talking about what to look for when buying a home in Nova Scotia. So some of you are going to try and buy a home uh, virtually through virtual showings, uh, pictures, videos, uh, through maybe a family member of yours is uh, going with your realtor to the house. Um, and then some of you are going to be in person. Maybe you flew down and, and we're checking out houses for a week or two. Either way, that's great. Um, so one of the first things I like to do is just get a better idea of the neighborhood. So do a drive up, drive down the street, just have a look around at the other houses, see what everybody else is doing, how, how well they're taking care of uh, their property, stuff like that. Uh, then you get out of the car and we're gonna be looking at the outside. Uh, this time of year, like I say, it's the end of December. Um, it does get dark early, so some of us are working through the day. It's hard to view properties in the day this time of year, um, but try to view in the day because after dark, it's so hard to pick up on uh, you know, some of the, uh, the issues that might be at hand. So uh, one of the first things I like to do is just have a quick look at the driveway whether it's paved or gravel, maybe there's potholes in it, maybe there's cracks, see if it's been maintained, maybe there's a fresh driveway there, maybe the driveway is overgrown, who knows, just have a quick look at that, that all costs money down the road. Next is, I like to take in the property, um, taking the property to the left and to the right, is it on a hill, is it flat, is there water laying in the front and the backyard, is, is the grass soupy, is it nice and dry? Um, if it hasn't rained in a while, you know, and it's say June or July, then why is there so much rain or why is there so much water laying around on this property? Maybe it's a low-lying property. You, I, I would shy away from a low-lying property because you're going to have water issues sooner or later. Especially because a lot of houses in Nova Scotia have basements. Yes, we do have slabs, but that's, that's a more, that's a newer construction method, at least around here. A lot of houses um, around here, some of them were built over 100 years ago. So they have old uh, basements, old foundations, and if you're in a low-lying area, you don't want um, you don't want your basement in a low-lying area because eventually it's going to take on water. Not to get into too much of that, and that's not necessarily hard and fast and true, but just something to take uh, you know keep an eye out for. Next is the roof. So you got typically around here, it's either an asphalt uh, shingle roof or steel roof. Steel roofs are great. Um, I don't like them cosmetically as much, I'll be honest with you. Um, just make sure that they're put on straight and the peak of the roof is nice and straight. That should have been all straightened out when they did it. If not, you know, maybe the person installing it didn't know what they were doing. I mean, as long as it doesn't leak, then I guess if you're fine with it, that's okay. But a crooked roof, uh, a crooked peak line or roof line uh, can make other people say in the future if you want to sell that in the future people are going to have some uh, be a little bit hesitant to buy that property with that sagging roof line um, if it's asphalt shingles um, there's kind of what industry calls older three-in-one uh, asphalt shingles and then there's a, a newer shingle or asphalt material like laminated shingles um, you see the older material um, it probably was installed a while ago. There's possibly a couple years left on the roof before it starts to maybe leak, but those types of roofs are probably going to be due for a replacement. Um, and then, like you say, if the roof has been recently done, you'll see a, a difference in the material and, and there's probably a, excuse me, a new laminated shingle on that roof. Uh, next is siding and windows. So siding, um, it's nice to see vinyl siding. I mean, you could there could be brick on the side of the house, not as common, but we do have some of that. Um, there is older wood siding. There's a, a few nice um, composite materials out there that are good, um, but some of the older wood and um, some of the older plank and, and other material-like sidings, uh, you need to have a closer look at them. Some of them actually could contain asbestos and stuff like that. So just kind of keep an eye out for that. Um, you know, you don't want moisture getting into the house, so uh, you want to make sure it's nice and tight. 
Next is the windows. Uh, windows are either going to be uh, wood frame or uh, plastic or vinyl frame. Uh, the newer windows should be all vinyl framed and dual pane. Um, and those are in a, in a higher efficiency window versus some of the older windows. They usually are um, wood frame and they're like a single pane. They're not energy efficient at all. They let the cool air in really easily. So you'll want to look at maybe replacing those down the road when you can afford it if those are in place now. Uh, the wood windows uh, rot a lot more than the um, like the wood windows they rot over time is what I mean to say so you got to watch that too because if it's rotten it will allow the water to run down your house on the outside and actually create more rotting issues into the studs and and stuff like that so you got to have a quick look at that um, door steps decks have a look at that uh, make sure the decks on footings again I mean I know some of this probably sound like a different language uh, but it's really basic stuff. You can look a lot of this up online. Um, yeah, so make sure the deck's on footings preferably. Make sure the deck's not rotten or underneath if it's not rotten. Uh, sometimes decks connect directly to the house, so make sure that connection is done properly. Uh, I've seen uh, rot um, behind that connection before. Uh, so that could, is just something to have a quick look at. And then for, for this video's sake, we get into the inside. Um, you know, you're going to look at the appliances, um, you're probably not going to be able to test them all out, it's just a half hour viewing, we're just going through it, but if they're older appliances, just kind of note it, it's like, yeah, well, I might have to, you know, replace those in a couple of years. Um, the cabinets, whether they're older cabinets, um, you could always put, um, you could always put new doors on them, I've seen people upgrade with new cabinet doors, you can rip it out and put like, um, you know, a modern kitchen in, Ikea. Uh, that sort of thing, but just you know all those things cost money um, Other thing is the bathroom. How old's the bathroom? Is, is, is it an old steel tub? Is it been all gone over? Uh, something to look for and another thing with the bathrooms uh, Some of the water supplies for houses in Nova Scotia are by a drilled well, so they actually drill um, down to the ground to, to get uh, your home uh, water and um, sometimes that drilled uh, well water can be what's called hard or contain other minerals that you don't really want. Uh, so you'll notice that um, around the shower uh, drain, uh, the bath, um, sorry, the sink and around the toilet, it'll be, there'll be like a, a light brown staining over time. And that's, uh, that's due to like a, a rust or an iron um, a mineral in your water that you'll want to um, deal with but that's just something to, to look at because if you see that the water's probably hard. Um, paint uh, and drywall or plaster. Plaster there's usually cracks in the wall um, and it just cracks naturally over time it seems so you might just kind of keep that in the back of your mind you might have to have a drywall guy come in and repair that or replace it with drywall depending on what you want to do. Um, Flooring, um, laminate flooring, the only thing that most laminates don't like is water, so sometimes they'll swell at the joints. So just keep an eye on that. Laminate flooring, very common. Uh, I don't really like to see it in kitchens. Uh, vinyl mat is what I like to see in kitchens and bathrooms or a tile, something like that, as long as it's done properly. And some older houses in Nova Scotia for flooring, they have carpet. But some of these older homes actually have hardwood underneath of the carpet, which if you like hardwood, it's a superior product, it looks really good, and it creates a really nice looking finish, especially if you do refinish that floor. But if you can find in that room, sometimes a little corner of the carpet will just be able to lift a tiny bit, and you can get a glimpse to see whether or not there's hardwood in there. Um, down in the basement, um, if it smells, hey, ask your realtor, especially if you're doing a virtual call, hey, how's the basement smell? Does it smell musty? Does it smell, smell old down there by any chance? And just kind of run that by them just in case they are getting some sort of a smell while they're in there. Uh, cats, dogs, etc. you never know. Um, another thing is in basements, usually you can see along the baseboards, uh, along the right above the floor there where the, the board is against your wall, baseboards, uh, you can see old water lines on the side of baseboards if there was water in that basement. So 
If there was, just have a look, you'll see almost like a faint drying line. Sometimes the baseboard will swell and it will easily show that possibly there was water in that basement before. Maybe there's what's called a sump pump in the basement, which is a water pump in the ground, uh, in a hole in the, in the ground or in the concrete of your basement floor. And it pumps the water that's coming up underneath your foundation up and out of the uh, out of the basement before it hits your actual concrete floor. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. But anyway, something else to look out for, that would mean that that basement is in an area where there's a little bit more water. So anyway, um, um, I mean, at some point we're gonna call in the home inspector, don't get me wrong. You have to have a guy come in and have another, you know, a, a look at it, but you know, that gives you a good start to think, okay, can I afford the potential repairs? Am I okay with the work that this property needs? And then you're not wasting money on home inspections and other inspections uh, and getting too far ahead of yourself. Maybe it's just too much work for you. So some homes are turnkey as we call it, don't need anything, but other homes need work. Um, the homes that need work, sometimes you can get a better deal on stuff like that. So anyway, a few other things I recommend. Um, if you can, uh, have a plumber have a quick look around, have an electrician have a look around, um, have a family member tag along. Uh, if you can't be there, if you're doing it virtually, get as many different people as possible uh, in there and get their opinions. And even if it is a hundred or two more extra dollars, um, it'd, it'd probably be worth it because now you're getting multiple opinions on the condition of that property, not just one. Because we all miss things, all of our opinions are different. So. Anyway, I hope that helps. The videos run away too long. So anyway, I'm just making these videos to help uh, buyers. Uh, like I say, I work in central Nova Scotia. If, uh, if you're frustrated and you're, you're local to central Nova Scotia and you, you can't seem to be able to find any properties or not happy with how your search is going so far, let me know. If you're from Ontario, Alberta, BC, all that stuff. If, if you're looking for a property, uh, I'd, I'd love to work for you. Um, and this is this is how I'm trying to meet more and more clients is through videos like these because you can't tell what kind of a personality or, or what I'm like by just looking at a little picture on my business card. So anyway, trying to make more connections, trying to help you guys out at the same time. Uh, either way, good luck on uh, finding your home. And appreciate you watching this video, guys. Take care. See you next time.